Qarun has to take action. Qarun was advised multiple times, beautiful stuff. What will he do? What will he say? His response, no. He got angry. You don't tell me how I use my money. It's not of your business to tell me what right and what wrong I should do. I worked hard to get this money. You don't know how many business decisions that were accurate that I did to get these millions. I got it from my own sweat. So don't go criticize me. You go get yourself a living. Then you know how to talk. Ya Allah. Innama utituhu ala ilmin indi. And this is, remember, mind your own business. Yani khalik binafsak. Yani alayka binafsak. Is the most hated sentence to Allah. لا 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 one more time انت بتتكلم big words بدك حديث بدك proof رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said وأبغض الكلام إلى الله the most disliked of speeches to Allah is when someone tells another person اتق الله have consciousness of Allah fear Allah then that person tells them mind your own business mind your own business in such scenarios is so hated to Allah he classifies it as one of the worst sentences to say. When you're being corrected and you know you're wrong, fix yourself. You can tell them, I appreciate your effort. I'll keep trying. Don't forget me in your dua. I'd not say, mind your own business. The guy came to you respectfully, adab. Right? Some people have to mind their own business. I'm with you. Right? You have to be understanding. But I gave you the context at which I'm referring to. May Allah protect us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. I got two scenarios for you. One guy, Ladi Library, University of Windsor. Every time we used to go to pray in the Musalla prayer area on campus, we used to buy, pass by a group of Muslims. To the most part, they used to come and pray in congregation with us. Fantastic. There's that one brother. Every time I tell him to come pray, Ta'al He's like, you know what, bro? I don't know, bro. I need these five minutes. Come on, man. Five minutes. Relax. The, the blessing. Never will you give except that you will gain more. Oh, master. But he told me, don't you ever stop telling me. And I will never forget this. This was a long time ago. He said, Majid, never ever go to prayer and pass by me except that you remind me. Maybe one day I will come. I have another example. A brother. Speaking to him respectfully, I told him about salah, and he tells me, don't you ever bring up this topic. Let me live my life the way I want. Subhanallah, may Allah protect us. <inaudible> Stop saying it's, oh, God gave it to me, and God did this, and God did that. I worked hard to earn this. May Allah bless you all. Ya Rabbil Alameen. So then what happened, brothers and sisters? He ignored all of this, and Allah says, he continued his oppression. He continued his arrogance. This Qarun guy, he intentionally wore the best of clothes. That's fine. But he did it for the wrong purposes. He had the best of vehicles, used it for the wrong purposes. Just to show off, bling, bling, flash, whatever appropriate terms of today's time. Which subhanAllah, at that time it was a rarity, right? It was a rarity. But now the majority do it. Agreed? The majority of people, they show what they have. Oh, watch what you judge my intentions. Relax. People post these things. Are you saying it's wrong? Are you saying it's right? I'm not saying wrong or I'm saying right. I'm saying watch your intentions. At times it can be great. At times it will haunt you down. So don't you post anything on social media until you go through that test. Why am I posting it? Why are you telling the world you are swimming in an infinity pool in the Maldives? What do you want? <laughs> right? What's your purpose? I want to show the people that you can you know, call people to Allah and still have vacations. Hadr, okay, I'll take it. Right? So now, next time I go to Maldives, I'll take a selfie, inshallah. Right? Why? I remember one time, a wonderful brother, when we were in school, he came and picked me up or we, uh, I had the car that time, I picked him up for Fajr, and then he looked wide awake. So when he came to the car, 
I said, you look shattered, like sahih, you look like you didn't sleep. He's like, yeah, I was doing Qiyamul Layl, I was doing the night prayers. And between me and myself, you know, young, overzealous, I'm like, you could have kept it to yourself, you know. <laughs> you have to look, yeah, I was praying Qiyam, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Bro, Akhirah, you know, you gotta, you gotta focus on, keep your eyes on the prize, Brother Majid. Right? But I can't judge his intention. Maybe he said this to me so I can start waking up. So my point being is that I'm not saying don't show off what you have. I'm just telling you watch why you show off what you have. That's all I'm asking you for. Be sincere with yourself. Why are you, why are you doing this? I don't know how much. Why are you taking a photo like this? Why? Miss Fat, is Habib. <laughs> I take a photo, I'll take a photo. <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe he's saying, remember to donate. I don't know the caption. Sometimes you have to think well of people. Right? Like someone, you know, nothing against that. It's fine. I love, I have friends that do that. Right? Nice car, rental. Right? <laughs> Life is tough. Tablish. <laughs> Right? I love the wonderful brothers and sisters. May Allah grant you all Jannah. Say I mean, And I'm just saying what? What's my focus? Why? Remember the Prophet ﷺ. Every blessed person has envious people towards them. Watch out. Watch who you share it maybe with mom. My mom loves to know. Uh, how was the lecture? How many people showed up? I'm like, Mom, it's not. He's like, I want. I know it's not done yet. How many people showed up? I'm like, I'm like, Allah Akbar. And what did the people say? Did they like it? I'm like, Mom, it's not. It's, it's, how's, your mom likes it. My, makes my mom happy. I'll tell her everything. I brag with my mom. I'm like, Mom, Allah, what a muhadar, what a lecture. It was fire, <laughs> walat, right? People love me, Mom, right? But to you, I, I probably wouldn't do that, right? So the point, point being is that share the good things that happen to you with those who you would not imagine will ever be envious towards you. And number one, mom and dad. Mom and dad will very likely, almost impossible, be jealous of you. So share your happy moments with them. It is so sad that you share it to the world, to the strangers, and make your profile public. And you will never go back home and tell your mom and dad what you achieved. Why would your mom and dad have to know your achievements through your friends? <laughs> Isn't it sad? Wallahi, I'm telling you as a parent, it can be very sad that I have to know about you through your friends and strangers and so on. Tell me where you, where you applied. Tell me where you got accepted. Tell me what scholarship you received. Tell me which person you're interested to get married in. Tell me. I'm your dad. I'm your mom. I love you. I want the best for you. May Allah protect us. So this Qarun guy is just so obsessed. I want to show the world. I want to do this. I want to do that. But when he came out, Bling, bling, an extreme, like, you know, like, he looked like stunning. Let's be realistic, it was stunning. There were two groups of people. One group of people, okay, they were so sad. They said, Ya laytalana mithlama out ya Qarun. Look at Qarun, I wish I had like this guy. No, this is the life, bro, this is the life. Not waking up at seven in the morning, go to a Ford factory. Like a mommy, look at this life. Look at, look at the security guard, look at the car, look at this life. We wish we have what he has. I wish I have what he has. He's so lucky. These are adults speaking. And adults say stuff like that, yes or no, but just different wording, different verbiage. They're so, so lucky. Oh, he's, just, he's so lucky. Baba, do you know where they're going for winter break? Two weeks, huh? They're going to Paris to ski. And we're waiting, and we're waiting for the snow to come so we can go sledding on Ford Field. <laughs> so lucky. Baba, why can't you have a house? Why can't you have a house in TPC, the golf course? Because they can't afford it. Why don't you work harder? <laughs> why? Baba, the security by itself is $4.50 a month. Huh? Work. I know I have a dad. Yeah, I should have mom at home. Mom, you go to continue school too. You're so lucky. Look, you see their house? Subhanallah. Relax. Watch what you wish for. Watch what you wish for. Adult and young. Wallahi, male and female. All of us. Whether you're working or not working. Look, look at her house. Look, I wish I had something. I got married to this guy, miskin. Barely has an income. You want to have a house like that? Yallah, be ready to clean it up. <laughs> That's number one. 
All right, yalla, bismillah, buy you three vacuums. Basement, first floor, third floor. Yalla, bismillah, what else? You think it's that simple? You think it's that simple? Yalla, be ready for the ayn. Be, be ready for it. Oh, her husband probably is like, a, he does money laundry. Like, I, like I'm telling you, they came here as refugees. Like, I don't know how her husband did this. You went ready for this? Yalla, ish. Watch what you wish for. La hasada illa fi thnatayn. Two times you ever say, I wish. I have what the other person has. Two times, bas. Number one. رَجْلٌ آتَاهُ اللَّهُ الْقُرْآنِ Someone whom Allah blessed with the Qur'an فَيَقُومُ بِهِ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ وَأَطْرَافَ النَّهَارِ And specifically at night. is someone who stands up and prays at night reading the Qur'an. You say, I wish I knew how to read the Qur'an and pray at night like that person. That's something you wish for because that's something you can attain. Because that is something you can achieve. Many of us here will never own a house. Many of us here will never own a one plus million dollar house. Many of us here will never have, you know, I don't know, security guards and that fame. Many of us here will never have more than 10,000 followers. Many of us. But many of us can go to Firdaus al-A'la. So wish for things that you can guarantee will be of benefit to you. And the other matter you can wish to have is when you see someone who is very rich. Finish, let me finish. But that person donates a lot of his wealth. You say, I wish I have money like him or her to donate like him or her. Two cases. May Allah protect us, Ya Rab. So then these people are like, I wish, I wish. So who heard this? وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمِ The ones with knowledge, Ya Rab. May Allah make you all of them, Ya Rab. People who learned, and now you guys learned ayat. I'm very optimistic that I and you, I know grammar, it says you and I, but I'm desperate for myself more than you. <laughs> I and you. That after hearing this, our view of life will be different. Khalas. I'm going to watch what I do, what kind of job I have. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to focus on akhirah. My decisions have to be in the checkbox. How does it impact my afterlife? Not just how does it in impact my neighbor. How does it impact my afterlife? That's a new checklist I will have to add. So they said, those who have knowledge, Wailakum, ya wailkum, ya wailkum. What is this you ask for? I wish I was like him. You wish to be like this, this musiba, this disaster. You wish to be like Qarun, who's an oppressor. You wish to be someone who people hate. You wish to be someone who is obsessed about bragging and showing off. You're obsessed to be like someone who hates Musa. You never said, I wish to be like Musa. Allahu Akbar. You never said, I wish to be like Musa. Watch what you wish for. Waylakum. Then he sa they said, Thawabu Allahi khair liman amana wa amina saliha. The reward, the reward waiting the believers is much better than all what you've seen. Fi ajr, the believers have reward. It's better than all what you see with Qarun. And na'am with Iman. You have that richness in the heart, remember? Qarun feels empty. With all what he has, he's empty. With all the followers, he's empty. He's sad. He's lonely. You think he has all, he's miskeen. How do you know the hearts? Because Allah said so. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ Allah said, whoever goes outside my path, whoever goes astray, they will have a miserable life. I don't want to hear no one above the words of Allah. O oh, you who is far from the deen, the further you are, I'm talking to myself. كُلْ مَا بَعِتْ عَنَ الدِّينِ كُلْ مَا كَنْ فِي نَكَدْ فِي الْحَيَةِ the further you go away from the religion, the more miserable your life is. That's the equation. X, X plus 2 equals Y. It goes like this. May Allah protect us. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Something to really pay attention to. So they're saying it with confidence. Like, how do you know? La, your reward in Akhirah for the believers and dunya. Yes, dunya and Akhirah. Ya Akhi, the money is with the disbelievers. The money is with the corruptors. The money is with the oppressors. Not necessarily true. Not necessarily true. You guys think, now I'm talking the people of knowledge to those who are obsessed about the dunya. You guys are saying that money being given is a sign of Allah's love. That's what they think, right? Allah gave it to him, so he must be a good guy. Allah took it away, so we must be very bad people. Why is the Muslim majority is poor? Because Allah doesn't like us. La, you guys have a whole wrong equation here. Allah giving, Allah taking does not change Allah's love and hate to us. May Allah protect us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, look at this beautiful hadith. I knew another narration, but I never knew this until today. May Allah bless you. The one that I know, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, 
Look at those below you in dunya. That's what the Prophet says. Unzuru ila man huwa asfala minkum. And instead of you driving around, I don't know, Novi, checking out houses, just, just why? Can you afford it? No, I just like to see these houses. It's not healthy, but anyhow. <laughs> okay, you want to go to Novi. Okay, the Prophet says, no, look at those below you. So maybe go on your way to Costco, Livonia, the trailers. <laughs> May Allah bless them. May Allah guide them and grant them wealth, Ya Rabb. Because why, Ya Rasulullah? He says, look at those who have lesser than you in this life. لِكَيْلَا تَزْدَرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ so you do not belittle the blessings Allah has given to you. When you're always around and always seeing and always watching these, uh, I don't know, pages on social media, which I advise you to be aware, yani, I'm not saying it's haram, but all what you follow, ex exotic cars, right? Mansions, 101, and you follow, 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 follow. All your timeline will make you feel poor. I'm broke, right? Why am I living this life? So I'm exaggerating, but it actually hits in the mind. You have to be very careful. So your Prophet, your Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told you, look at those under you. May Allah protect us from dunya. Now the one hadith that I learned today, may Allah grant you all jannah, so cool. He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِذَا نَظَرَ أَحَدُكُمْ إِلَى مَنْ فُضِّلَ عَلَيْهِ فِي الْمَالِ وَالْخَلْقِ If you happen to see someone who Allah gave more money than you and better looks, physical features than you, فَلْيَنظُرْ إِلَى مَنْ هُوَ أَسْفَلَ مِنْهِ Then look at those who have less than what you just saw. Allahu Akbar. If you felt you were shaken but what you saw of a house, of an individual, uh, I don't know, the clarity of their skin, or I don't know, whatever the case may be, their hair, the straightness of it, whatever the, the fashion and the, whatever is considered beautiful, and you saw it slightly hitting you like, man, go, go, look at something that is less. Not just for the sake of, oh, like that. No, then you go and help them out if you're able to. The one who's poor, it will not just make you feel comfortable with what you have, it will drive you to help them, Allahu Akbar. And the khair will come to you. May Allah bless you all. Amin Rabbil Alameen. So you guys love what the intelligent people said? I love it. May Allah make us like them. Amin Rabbil Alameen. Tayyib. Yalla, next, what happens? Qarun, what about him? Maybe he was going back home. I don't know. He's about to go have dinner. 17 type of meals, entrees. I don't know, three spoons, three forks, three knives, seven plates. Allahu Ta'ala A'lam. But on his way, what happens? Next ayah, so quickly, so fast, so swiftly, right when he was going back home or whatever he was going, Allah opens up the earth. And he starts falling and falling and falling. It's such a scary moment. He doesn't have a parachute. He doesn't have anything like that. He's falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. The fear is killing him. Who is going to help you now? Go down, go down, go down because you always thought you're above others. You always thought you're better than everyone. In the الْأَرْضِ Go all the way. فَخَسَفْنَ بِهِ وَبِدَارِهِ الْأَرْضِ Let's put you in your, your place, in your proper spot. Very severe to such people. May Allah protect us. Ya Rabbil Alameen. In a way, he was buried alive. His wealth, buried. His security guards, all those who supported him, buried, done, vanished. What happened right there? What happened? Remember the people that said, I wish I have? You know what they said? Ya Allah, Ya Allah. They said, Oh, it's so clear to us. If Allah really loved him, he would have never done that to him. Allah gives and takes, does not reflect Allah's love to you. If you're someone who is trying so hard to make so much money, but it's genuinely not working, doesn't mean Allah doesn't love you. It means Allah loves you. Some people getting so much money gets into their heads. And out of love to you, Allah protects you from it. I'm not saying don't pursue. Pursue within reason. May Allah grant you all wisdom, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and myself. But go, but be very careful, Ya Allah. When Allah gives people children and others not, doesn't mean necessarily they committed a sin and you don't deserve it. When someone tries to apply for the U.S. citizenship, tries to bring their spouse from overseas, things didn't work out, Allah loves you. It's tough. I know. I feel you. But don't take it that Allah hates you. Stop saying Allah hates me. Allah doesn't want the best for me. La, Allah loves the believers. 
Allah yuhib al muttaqin May Allah make us of them. Ya Rabbil Alameen. And you know what they said? And I wanted to pay close attention. Close attention. They said, Lawla amanna Allahu alayna la khasafa bina. La 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 la. Had a mawdu'a huge. Because I spoke about Qarun, you're like, you know, you know what, I don't have that kind of money. So I think I'm safe. No, you have other blessings too. You have to watch out from. But what they said here, the people that don't have that many followers, the people that don't have that kind of money, the people that don't have that kind of status and power, they said if it wasn't for God's blessings, we would have been swallowed by earth as well. Why? Did, did they do it? Did they, did they do what Qarun did? No. So why are they saying... Alhamdulillah, and we deserve to be swallowed by earth. We deserve like what just happened to, to Qarun, being buried alive, we deserve it. But Allah saved us. Allahumma lak alhamd. How do you deserve it? Because if you wish, and this can fall to all of us here, if you wish to do something that is bad, something that is evil, you saw someone doing it, well off, rich, famous, whatever, and you're like, man, I would love to do what he did. I would love to do what she did. And the only reason you did not do it is because you couldn't. You will be punished just like them. This is a warning. If you saw someone donating $100,000 and you're like, man, if I had that kind of money, I would have donated it. Would Allah reward you as if you donated? But why this? Okay, I like it. But said like that. Right? Yes, yes, I know another hadith. I know another hadith. What is it? Rasulullah said, Whoever is about to do something wrong, a sin, and steps back from it, Allah rewards and gives them good deeds. Yeah. Be, these people did not do it. In another hadith, min jarrai means because of Allah's sake. The guy's about to rob a bank. Okay, he's about to rob a bank. Got everything ready, the mask, all that stuff. Not COVID mask, they can cover himself, whatever, right? All this stuff. And then, he's like, man, this is wrong. This is wrong. Forget it. Allah will reward them because they felt it's wrong. But the guy's like, bro, I'm going to rob this thing. Bismillah. Uh, bismillah. <laughs> right? Okay? So maybe he said, Bismillah. He felt bad. Allah probably rewarded him. Okay? He's like, I'm going to go rob this bank. Let's go. go. Oh, they turned on the lights. They turned on the lights. Go, go. They turned on the lights. Go. You have the robbing of the bank <laughs> with zero cash. <laughs> May Allah protect us. So in Tabihu, what you wish for. That's why they said, now they gained the knowledge. So now they learned. May Allah enlighten us the way he enlightened these people. They're enlightened. <laughs> the disbelievers are never successful. We got it. We got it. Then Allah ends. The final lesson. Ultimate success belongs to the righteous. Allah says, تِلْكَ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةِ تِلْكَ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةُ نَجْعَلُهَا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُرِيدُونَ عُلُوًّا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فَسَادًا وَالْعَاقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Allah says, the Akhirah, Jannah. May Allah make us all of the people. Ya Rabb of Jannah, Ya Rabb. It is for those who have no two qualities. They don't have these two qualities. عُلُوًّا فِي الْأَرْضِ There are people that do not focus to be on the top in the sense to get people, you know, praises. Their focus is to be appreciated by the people. Their focus is to be recognized. They're not obsessed about recognition. That's one. They're not show-offs. Number two, wala fasada. They don't seek to spread corruption. They don't seek to justify it, legalize it. Whatever the case may be, they stand against corruption. Two main traits, and at the end of the day, وَالْعَاقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Beautiful lesson. Great reflection for all of us to learn for, from, especially this part of the world. Especially this part of the world because we are some of the most blessed people on earth. Agreed? Say Alhamdulillah. So show the blessings that Allah has given you in a way that pleases Allah. طيب. Then, Allah knows exactly when this happened, the story of Qarun. But there's something coming up. Musa alayhi salam. What about him? Musa alayhi salam. Allah appoints a second meeting with him. 
second meeting, whoa, I know the first meeting with Allah, remember the mountain of Uttur? What was the first meeting about? To deal with Fir'aun, right? Allah met Musa one-on-one, -on -one. he told him what to do, meet with Pharaoh, Pharaoh drowned. What's the second meeting for? Second meeting, second meeting is so, me is so serious, Allahu Akbar. Fir'aun, serious that Allah tells Musa, I want you to train yourself for this meeting for 40 days of worship. Why? There's a big, big mission. Bigger than Fir'aun. I need 40 days? Huge. What's the mission? What's the next meeting? What's the next phase of Musa's life? 